Robson classification, also known as the 10 groups classification system, is a system for classifying pregnant women who undergo childbirth. It is defined as the overall distribution of deliveries into different groups and then contribution of each group to overall cesarean section rate. What is the aim of Robson classification? The Robson classification can work as an audit tool to identify the groups that have greatest impact on the cesarean section rate. It also helps to develop a strategy focusing on the reduction of cesarean section rate. How Robson classification helps to reduce cesarean section rate? First of all, it helps to identify and analyze the groups of women which contribute most and leads to oral cesarean section rate. Secondly, it compares the practice in these groups of women with the other units who have more desirable results and consider changes in the practice. This classification assesses the effectiveness of the strategies or interventions targeted at optimizing the use of cesarean section. It assesses the quality of the care and of clinical management practices by analyzing outcomes by the groups of women. It assesses the quality of the data collected and raises staff awareness about the importance of this data, interpretation, and use. Now, what factors affect the cesarean section rate? Those include epidemiological factors, age, BMI, fetal weight, the different indications of cesarean sections, fetal distress, dystocia, maternal requests, and organizational reasons. If we talk about the doctor factors responsible for increasing cesarean section rate, those include increased practice of defensive medicine to avoid litigations, less practice of vaginal breach delivery, less practice of vaginal twin delivery, less, vagin less vaginal birth of the cesarean section, less forceps and vacuum delivery, increased monitoring of pregnancy plus induction of the labor. Among the maternal factors, we would include obesity because more obese mothers may have heavier babies, less preference for uh, vaginal birth of the cesarean section by the woman. Nowadays, more prefer small family size, so there is trend towards cesarean section. Other factors include more maternal request for cesarean section and tocophobia. Among the fetal factors, we would include the good size baby because more obese mothers may have heavier babies. The fetal distress and shoulder dystocia are also the other fetal factors. The interventions which can be taken to reduce the cesarean section rate include the prenatal education, decision aids for the mood of the birth, psychosocial uh, support, labor companionship, public dissemination of cesarean section rate, audit and feedback, mandatory second opinion for the cesarean birth, implementation of the clinical protocols, equalizing physician pay for any mode of the delivery, whether vaginal or cesarean. Setting a goal for cesarean section rate. Ideally, there should be a classification system to monitor and compare cesarean section rates at facility level in a standardized, reliable, consistent, and action oriented manner. The first group of the Robson classification belonged to nulliparous women with single cephalic pregnancy of more than 37 weeks gestation in spontaneous labor. As compared to group 1, you can see that there is difference in, in the mode of the delivery. Like here we have a nulliparous woman with single cephalic pregnancy of more than 37 weeks of gestation who either had the labor induced or were delivered by cesarean section before the labor. So in the group first, we had spontaneous labor. Here we have group of women who had labor induced or were delivered by cesarean section before labor. Group three is almost similar to group one, but here we have difference of parity. So in group one, we have nulliparous. In group three, we have multiparous women with previous uterine scar, uh, without a previous uterine scar, with a single cephalic pregnancy of more than 37 weeks in spontaneous labor. So in the picture, you can see that this woman has got baby before this pregnancy. So she is multiparous woman. Group 4 woman is also multiparous. You can see a baby behind her. Uh, and the features are almost similar to the 
group 2 but uh, here there is a difference of parity in group 2 we have we had uh, nelly paris women in group 4 we have multi paris women without a previous uterine scar with single cephalic pregnancy of more than 37 weeks of gestation who either had labor induced or were delivered by cesarean section before labor now look at the picture of group 5 she is also multi -paris. You can see baby behind her before this pregnancy. But also uh, the letter C is written which means cesarean scar before this uh, pregnancy. So it include all the multi -paris women with at least one previous uterine scar with single cephalic pregnancy of more than 37 weeks. So in all these five groups we have single cephalic pregnancy more than 37 weeks and the lie is longitudinal in all these cases the unique point about group 6 is that here this woman is carrying a breech baby but she is nelly paris so all nelly paris women with a single breech pregnancy are included in group 6 women of group 7 are also breech single breech but they are a they are multi para so all multi paras women with single breech pregnancy including women with the previous uterine scar are included in group seven group eight as you know that uh, the letter eight is combination of two circles so it is easy to remember that uh, the group eight is for the multiple pregnancies in which woman is carrying more than one baby so all women with multiple pregnancy including women with a previous uterine scar are included in group 8 the unique point about group 9 is uh, here the baby may be either transverse or oblique so all women with single uh, pregnancy with a transverse or oblique lie including women with a previous uterine scars are included in group 9 the unique point about group 10 is that here we have the preterm babies so all the women with single cephalic pregnancy of less than 37 weeks gestation including women with the previous scars are included in group 10 now this table also shows the robson classification as i mentioned before up to group 5 we have women having single turn pregnancy cephalic presentation of more than 37 weeks Group 6 is for nelly paris breach, group 7 for multi paris breach, group 8 for multiple pregnancies, group 9 for transverse or oblique lie, group 10 for preterm pregnancies. So the important question in a specific healthcare facility there was increase in the number of cesarean section rate, you are asked to look into this matter, how will you investigate this case? Here using a spreadsheet or an uh, automatic calculator we have summary of specification of variables uh, in each Robson group and I have explained these variables before the report table consists of several columns which we will discuss later on but uh, I will tell you that the column 1 contain group name and or number and definitions group 2 is for the total number of cesarean in each group group 3 is for the total number of the women delivered in each group um, column 4 is for the relative group size to overall uh, facility population column 5 is for cesarean section rate in each group column 6 is for absolute group contribution to overall cesarean section rate column 7 is for the relative contribution of the each of the 10 groups to overall cesarean section rate i will uh, explain all these definitions later on so here in the robson classification report table you can see all the seven columns let us explain the column 4 which is for group size percentage it is in fact the number of the women in the group divided by total number of the women delivered in the hospital multiplied by 100 column 5 is for the group cesarean section rate percentage which is the number of cesarean section in the group divided by total number of the women in the group multiplied by 100 group 6 is for absolute group contribution to overall cesarean section rate percentage which is in fact the number of cesarean section in the group divided by total number of the women delivered in the hospital multiplied by 100 column 7 is for the relative contribution to overall cesarean uh, rate percentage which is in fact the number of cesarean section in the group divided by total number of cesarean section in the hospital multiplied by 100 so which obstetric variables are used to classify women in the 10th group those include parity, 
previous cesarean section, onset of the labor, number of fetuses, gestational age, fetal lie, and presentation. As we have discussed the Robson classification in detail, so we can answer these questions about parity. In question one, we have a nulli paras woman with single turn cephalic pregnancy, so she belongs to group one. Group two is for preterm pregnancy of 26 weeks, so this woman belongs to group 10. Question 3 is about Nelly Paris woman with the singleton uh, cephalic presentation, so she, she belongs to group 1. Question 4 is about the woman who is Nelly Paris with a previous myomectomy, admitted for pre labor cesarean suction, so she belongs to group 2. The multi Paris woman in question 5 fits more in group 4. Let us discuss the questions about the onset of the labor here in the question 1. Uh, we have a woman who is nulli paris and diagnosed not in spontaneous labor and is induced. So she belongs to group 2. The woman in question 2 belongs to group 3 because the onset of the labor was spontaneous and classification always consider how labor started in the current pregnancy regardless how the delivery was planned here we have questions about multiple pregnancies here there is a woman with a twin pregnancy and the first baby is transverse lie although transverse lie is in group 9 but all the women with the multiple pregnancies are in group 8 so she better belongs to group 8 in question 2 we have an early paris woman who was diagnosed with a triplet pregnancy at uh, 14 weeks but at 22 weeks uh, she only had uh, one um, fetus on the ultrasound scan and um, rest of the feature fits more in the group one the woman in question three had pre-labor cesarean section uh, she better belongs to group five she is a multi paris as well so thank you so much that was all about Robson's classification, the different groups and explanation with the example. Subscribe on Offsend Guiding. Allah Hafiz.